What's up everybody? Hope you're having an amazing day today. I am Peter Cole and today we're going to be playing through my time at Porsche. Also, forgive my voice. I'm recovering from sickness so if I do sound kind of sick during this, that is why. But other than that, this is an awesome game. It's kind of like Stardew Valley meets Minecraft meets Breath of the Wild meets Harvest Moon meets Dark Cloud 2. Yeah, I know it's a lot of things, but I've seen a lot of people playing. I think it sounds really awesome. So we're going to go ahead and jump in and play the first hour today and the character creation, of course. So let's go ahead and hit new here see what ends up happening it's really cool i love the art style of it just from the get-go the art style is really cool i've seen just little bits i don't actually know what the game really does that much or anything okay so we start oh our voice immediately huh? i think i'll go talk with the research center first they might think of something i don't know how, how i feel about his voice okay let's try the lady's voice this house is so worn i need to fix it or i won't be getting a good night's sleep i do like her voice i can dig it let me try the guys again one more time. See if I can see if I can bear it. I think I'll go talk with the research center first. They might think of something. That doesn't sound too bad. This game isn't early access, so I guess we'll see. Do I like any of these hairstyles though? <laughs> Admittedly, I think I'm gonna go with the guy because I do actually kind of like this hair. Let's see what what we can get of this his blue hair. What? All right. So what I'm gonna go? I'm gonna do this then. I'm gonna go down here. I do like purple hair, but I don't know how I feel about the color of that purple. I know it looks kind of weird, but I end up going with this almost like reddish color. I think it actually looks really cool. It's got like a, a purplish, brownish, I don't know, whatever. Well, we're just going to go along with it. We got our face types here. Let's see what we like. We've got, okay. For some reason, this face reminds me of Jimmy Neutron. I like this one. It looks almost cartoony. I thought that could be a cartoon face. I did I did do something funny. I messed around with this a bit and like look at this. It doesn't change at all. But once you get up here, definitely changes. But once it gets to that smaller size, they don't change in size at all. That's pretty funny. I lied. I did mess around with the settings, and this is how my guy looks right now. His eyelids look a little bit weird, but uh we're just gonna go with it and deal with that. Alright, now we got nose position, nose size, mouth, chin. Let's mess around a little bit. All right, so here are my settings with a little bit of changing there. I like how my guy looks. I try to make him look a little bit more cartoony. He's got a bigger nose a little bit. His chin's a little different and stuff, but for the most part, not too much difference. But I actually really like how he looks. I'm pretty happy with our character. So as you can see, the character creator, it's not super big like an RPG, but it's pretty good. I mean, you can change the face to a pretty good amount. So I enjoy it. I was pretty happy about it. And I'm pretty excited about my character. So let's go ahead and start the first hour of my time at Porsche. Starting off with a cutscene. Always a good choice. A little bit of frame frame issues going on though. We're coming up on Porsche. Woo -wah. Whoa, that looks beautiful. What is <laughs> that that, that voice is pretty funny, oh, my guy's diving. voice. Something like that. We get someone like you once in a while. Always seek you that adventure. To be I feel like uh, that guy sounds kind of weird, like his mic when they were recording wasn't super good or something. I don't know why, but... Well, good luck to you. Thanks. Yeah, like the thing wasn't super high quality or something. I was just messing around with my mic, so it might not sound perfect either, but you know what? Whatever. Alright. That was an okay title entrance. It wasn't the greatest I've ever seen, but it wasn't the worst either. Usually they're pretty well. That music cut off abruptly. Peter, Presley, how do you do? Ah, good oh, he's a voice too. Again. Hope you had a pleasant journey from Barnarock, right? Barnarock. It's Barney's hometown. Yeah. Anyway, I'm here to show you to your workshop. So if you would please follow me, it's pretty close. I wonder what it's like. I didn't get to know my pa too well. <laughs> no one's been working there since your pa left Porsche Yo, so many pa. years ago. He was a good friend. I heard that plosive. Yeah. <laughs> this guy likes to say yeah a lot. So I do. I really like the graphics so far. It seems like there's a bit of frame dropping happening. So we'll see. If maybe I have to adjust the the graphics as time goes on. They're not even on the highest setting. I didn't want to start on the highest setting to see how the frames work. It's a little bit under. It's not bad so far. Jumping feels pretty good. Oh, where is he taking me? Are your workshop. That was not there a second ago. This place sure has seen some wear and Like I said, this is early access, so. Think? Looks homely. <laughs> he said homely, but it said homey down there. Here's a letter from your father. He 
asked me to present it to you when you've seen this okay. house. When you read this letter, I'm already on the other side of the world. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry I'm not able to be the father that you want. This is all so sudden. I didn't have much time to tell you or figure out how to take care of you. Then I thought about this workshop. It might not look like much, but it will brace you from the wind and cover you from the rain. I leave you with my workshop handbook that details how I worked on my workshop. The rest is up to you. Do your best and live a wonderful life. You'll always be my pride and joy. Pa. What? What? He just abandoned me? Like, it will keep you safe from the rain? Did I not have a home? This is dark. What happened here? Here's the workshop handbook of your pa's. Take your time. Come to the Porsche Commerce Guild tomorrow. It's located around Peach, Peach Plaza. Plaza. Can't miss it. Okay. As much as I'd like to give you a builder license right away, you'll need to prove your worth through a couple of tests. Got it. Tomorrow. Anyway, I'll leave you be. Get some rest. Hi, Presley. Thanks for your help. It's... It's late, you should be getting so Oh, I don't have a choice. Okay. <sighs> My head hurts. I didn't sleep well at all from all the breeze coming through the cracks last night. <laughs> yeah, this is... What did I sleep on? Oh, I do have a bed. Okay. Dash. Whoa, so I can jump with this and dash with this. Okay, cool. Alright. Huh. Interesting. I like how I've just left this house and I, all I have in there is a bed. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do or where I'm supposed to go. Ooh, flashing stuff. I mean, I'm supposed to pick it up? Yes, it does. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can find anything else as I run along here, stuff to grab. Oh yeah, see? More of this. I'm sure I need wood to fix all the cracks in my house. I guess I should have probably looked. It, whoa, bird? I definitely saw a shadow up there. Oh, somebody go this way. I mean, this is a cute little place. I've heard that there's something about it being like post-apocalyptic or something, and it looks like it from like all the ruins and stuff that it actually might be post-apocalyptic. Maybe that's why my dad couldn't help. Oh, what do we got here? From the Porsche Times. Hello, new subscriber. This is the Porsche Times. We are sponsored by the city government and the local commerce guild branch to bring you the latest news in our city for free. We're a monthly publication, so papers will be sent out on the first day of each month. If you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to visit our office on Main Street. Day two, month one, year one. Dang, so I'm gonna be here for a long time, apparently. There's like some weird, oh, that's just a person. What is that? Let's grab it. I got snakeberry and a caterpillar. That is the cutest little caterpillar. Okay, I, I need to go do my main story quest. I can tell there's gonna be a lot of stuff to grab in this game already. Oh, hey, hey, here's some wood. My buttons are almost fully used up down there. All right. Oh gosh, guys, this is gonna be lots, lots to pick up. I like it though. Okay, let's go grab this wood. I mean, it's just right here. It's right by the door. Okay, we're going in. Wait. I didn't pick it up for some reason. Seven wood, wow, I can kick the tree? Do I get something from that? No, I don't. Well, maybe I do from other trees, but can I talk to everyone? And you are? Oh, you must be the new builder the mayor told me about. I'm Minister Lee of the Church of Light. It's a pleasure it's a to pleasure meet you. <laughs> Whoa, RPS? Whoa, what's, what is this? Oh, rock, paper, scissors, RPS. Dang it, he won. Scissors. Yes. Scissors again. You're not gonna expect that. Oh, what? I don't like this guy at all. No, he cheated. He totally cheated. That's crap. I don't believe that. That's crap. That guy jipped me hard. The apartments, Potter's Commerce Guild, Porter, Porsche. I'm gonna mess up that name a lot, guys. I can tell you that right now. You. How are you settling in? Very well. Great. <laughs> Let me introduce you to the Commerce Guild. Okay. We're the organization that orchestrates trade across the entire Free Cities region. This is the Porsche branch. We're pretty busy throughout the year. <laughs> I bet. Now then, let me give you your builder test. This is pretty easy. Make an axe and pickaxe and bring them to me. You need to have wood and stone I got to em. make these. You can gather them on your own or buy them from the Why would I want to buy my materials? I'm a builder. After you have the raw materials, you need to craft the items on a work table. I saw your paws with one in your yard, so check and see if that one. So I already have it. 
Interesting. All right, well, we'll go through that later. Let's let's go do that. Oh, I have to press A to exit out. I was wondering why it keeps showing me those things. I was like, do I have to press? No. They just do the hints just disappear at the top? I don't know how this works. I think we should be able to build both of these. I like that I'm so close to the town though. I don't have to worry about <laughs> walking really far. Cause, oh, I forgot I can dash. I don't know why I haven't been. I'm still learning, okay? So here we go. Okay, lesson one's most important. Okay, hold on. Um, gonna read this. Hello to me, handsome. Wait, is this for me? Oh no, it's from my pa. All right, go to the assembly station podium. Open up this handbook and select a diagram. Yeah, okay. What am I looking at? I need a stone stool. Oh, so I have to make my own stuff. I have to make a furnace and a grinder. Interesting, wow. Wow. Oh, I chose what I was gonna assemble? What? Okay, I don't wanna do this though. Can I choose something different? Confirm. Okay, I can. Dang it. Yes. Where's just... Can I just make a pickaxe? No, I can't. So do I need to make a furnace, I'm assuming? Alright, so we're gonna try to build the wooden tro trowel. We did that. Now we need to make stone stool. Crap. I need to make... Oh, this is complicated! Oh! I figured this out. Okay. Oh, okay, so I go down to the equipment tab, and that tells me what I need to be able to make the parts that I need. So I need a simple axe and a pickaxe. Just the regular two things, right? Simple axe and a pickaxe. Yes, so for both of those, I need a work table level one. That's it. All right, so let's go into here. How do we make a work table? There isn't a work table in here, though. All right, so I'm here, and we're gonna head over to the work table here. Go ahead and craft. So we need a simple ax, so we do have enough to craft. One. Yeah. And then we need pickaxe, which we need to go get. find more wood. So let's go find more wood. I also need to be able to fix the holes in my house with this wood, however much I can get. Where's wood at? Okay, I was gonna say, come on, man. I know there's wood somewhere. What in the flippin' world is that? That thing is creepy. No way. No. Oh. I can pick up poop? Why? Why do they want me to pick up poop? What the heck? I, I wonder if the- I hope these are gonna be purposeful. I, it's interesting. I, I see I lose stamina every time I do something. I'm like, I pick up an item and I lose stamina. So I'm wondering if that determines how much I can do in a day. Because I picked up all that wood and now I've lost stamina. That's fascinating. So I wonder if it's action based off of your stamina. I thought that was a gate, but it definitely wasn't. All right, now we got the pickaxe. So we can make it better? We can up the level, or is that the item or the level that it wanted me to do? What are these other things? I can't look at the other stuff. All right, well, we got that at least. Now we can go back. Hopefully we get something for this. Is it gonna give me some rewards? And I noticed running, I, I have my little stamina wheel, but that's not the same as my stamina down there. It doesn't affect my stamina at the bottom. This is so fascinating. I wonder how this is gonna work in the long run. Where's he at? Mr. Presley. Ah, excellent quality. Nicely done. You can keep them. I just wanted to see what you can do. Now for the second test, you are to build a stone furnace. Okay. This one's a bit tougher. You need to use the assembly station in your yard to complete this task. All right. Hmm. If I remember correctly, your pa kept a very decent <laughs> things he made. You might want to flip through his workshop handbook and see if you can find a diagram for the stone furnace. Once you have a diagram, 
Just use it on the assembly station in your yard to start construction. I can do that. That's for sure. All right. Let's let's go see if we can do that then. Hopefully, I don't have to go and get a bunch more things. It doesn't seem like, at least right around where I live, that there's a lot of plentiful supplies of things. Might have to branch out to be able to complete this one. Can I pickaxe this? How do I... Oh. Whoa. Ooh, I got copper ore. Just my, so my pickaxe doesn't really get... Ooh, I le there's a level ups in this game? What? Do I get skills and stuff? So, my, it looks like, from what I can tell, my pickaxe, I don't want to cut this tree by my house, I like that tree. It looks like I don't lose any, like, so my items don't break, that's what I'm trying to say. Pick up. Okay. I'm assuming, like, if I want to go to a better tree, I'd have to get a higher level piece of wood. And I wonder if this stuff even grows back. Like, is it bad that I'm cutting down at all so it's going to look ugly around my house? Maybe I should go somewhere else. Who cares? We need all the wood. I'm sure I'm gonna have to fix up my house too, so. Ooh, that was a lot of wood. What was that, seven wood? Ooh, plant fiber too, huh? QQ? What? That little pig was adorable. Maybe I should get a sword. Let's turn into nighttime. Is it gonna get bad at night, like scary? Do I need to rest at night? <laughs> I'm so excited to learn what I'm gonna be able to do. All right, so for the stone furnace, that's what he wanted me to craft, right? Yes, okay. So we need 10 wood and 10 stone, which I think we have. All right, so let's do our wood. And let's do our stone. What a stone stool. Oh, crap. Okay, we might have to make something else first. How do I make it into a stone stool? Dang it, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, geez, that's our, that's our inventory, which we should have probably looked at already, but I haven't, because I'm just that cool. All right, let's go over here. Basic skiver. Water tank. Well, how do we make ore then? Oh, I see. We have to craft it at our work table. We have to make this item. Oh, I can make pants? Wow, leather. Oh, so I'm gonna have a bunch of upgradable stuff in this game. I like all these swords too, that's really cool. Oh, see, here's the stone stool. Okay. Oh. This is fascinating. So there's a lot of aspects to this game. It's going to be a lot deeper than I thought. All right, so let's place this. Ah, oh, crap. I got to put it in my quick bar. Whoa. All right, let's go to inventory here. Click to add. Yes, there are skill points. Five points can be added to one level. That's crazy. Do I have skill points right now? I do have a skill point. We'll go back to this, though. We're not going to do that just yet. We need to do our inventory first. All right, so how do I put this on my skill bar? Can I switch it out? Yeah, there we go. We moved our little snake is snake. It's a caterpillar, actually, but. <laughs> so do I put it somewhere? Oh. So I could just like put it right here, right up against my house. Cool. It can be turned when placed on the ground? Oh. Okay. So I wonder if at night they're gonna be asleep. Like, let me, let me, I, well, actually, I should, I know I should get some rest. Apparently that's what the stamina thing's gonna be for, because I have 19 stamina. Oops, wrong button. Need three wood to fix the gap, yes. We're probably gonna run out of stamina. Oh wait, I'm not using stamina. Three wood to fix the gap, okay. I like that satisfying sound. 20 wood. Holy crap, what do I need for this? 10 wood for that? That's smaller than the other gaps. All right, I'm gonna go try to get, I need 23 wood. So let's go chop down some more trees quick. I'm worried I'm gonna get attacked at night though. Like if I go too far from my house, are there gonna be creepy enemies out? I know that like apparently in this game there's like dungeons and stuff, so. Apparently I can pick flowers. Ooh, hey, some wood. <laughs> I mean, extra wood that I don't have to cut is fine with me. I'm gonna have to get used to the buttons. I keep pressing the wrong buttons to uh, do it. Oh, that's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna be able to do it. 
Each one of these that I'm hitting is causing wood to come out. Or stamina. C5. And out of stamina. What happens when I get out of stamina? Let's find out. Oh, it just has not enough stamina. Yeah, I can't fix my house up tonight. That sucks. I should have used my stamina more smartly. Should have been picking up all those items. Eh, we'll be able to fix it tomorrow at least. Let's fix the big crack. Yes. Dang it, tomorrow. <sighs> that sucks. I wish I could have done it today. I really do. My head hurts. I didn't sleep well at all from all the breeze coming through the cracks last night. Dang time. it. So the first thing I'm going to do before I even go back to that guy real quick is I'm going to go get nine more wood. I feel like I need to fix my house before I can go do any more missions. All right. Let's go chop some of this stuff down. Like, I'm assuming I won't be able to chop this tree. Oh, I can. That's very surprising. Wow, what is that? Tree sap, cool, oh wow. Dude, I should've just been chopping the big trees. There's no point in even chopping these small ones at all. Jeez, man, why wasn't I just doing that? Well, now I'm gonna go to sleep. Guess who's got a nice house? All the gaps have been fixed. I'm finally going to have a good night's sleep. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice little household. All you got is a bed. One bed and that's it. But I mean, we're gonna go through the quest, quest line a little bit to be able to see what else is up here. Is that a treasure chest? Worn gloves, huh? All right, so how would I equip these? use can I not do anything with them do I have to have these in my bar oh this is an item I actually have to use I thought this was like a equipment piece that's really interesting okay is he up here what Presley, you're just moving around all over the place, Great aren't you? Job. This is your builder license. <laughs> that was really easy. Didn't take much work to get that. You just need to take this license over to the mayor's office and get your workshop registered. After which, you can start taking regular commissions. Already? Come back and talk with me after you register. Jeez. They, they're not joking. They're like, oh, you... What is that? Why is that? Why is there a circle up here? What does that mean? What? Hey there. First time ruin diving? Yeah. Yep. Alrighty. Let me explain then. All the ruins in the Alliance of Free Cities are regulated by the Civil Corps. To enter the ruins, you'll need to pay a maintenance fee. We'll need, he said, need to pay a weekly maintenance fee, but we'll give you a 60% discount the first time. When you enter, I'll give you the jetpack and scan. What? Very handy ancient relics. Mining for resources becomes a lot easier when you have these equipped. When you come out, we'll need them back since they're very rare. What? This one beside me is an abandoned ruin. No monsters or robots. Monsters or robots, Just huh? Resources and relics like power stones. Anything you find in the ruins are yours to keep. Unless they're ancient weapons. Then we're supposed to hand them over to the church for destruction. Uh-uh. Okay, I'm done. Have fun and be safe. I will not hand anything over to the church. Heck no. That sounds like something I definitely do not want to do, actually. Oh, crap. Can I just jump off this without getting hurt? Is there fall damage? I don't want to... I don't want to guess at it. I want to just... Oh, well, there wasn't fall damage from that height. Where's the mayor's office at? Is this it? Oh, Porsche government. Yeah. I like how the town hall is smaller than the commerce... Thing. Of course, though. That doesn't surprise me. Oh, hey, Gail. Welcome, welcome. You must be the new builder. <laughs> they need to fix the, the uh, writing with the people. It's truly wonderful to see young people getting involved in the telesis of our society. Ooh, telesis. I'm here oh. to register my workshop. Very well. What is the name of your workshop? I didn't think about what my name of my workshop was going to be. I am going to call it the Coal Train. Confirm. Coal Train Builder's License, <laughs> birthday unknown. 
Yeah. It's nice name. There, your registration is complete. Well, thank you. That was thank really you. easy. Also, we're going to have a fireside town meeting once in a while. Uh, they'll be announced through the mail. Try to make them if you can. You don't want me being the only one there. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I will cover town and world events at large, uh, the usual. You know. This is cool. Is it, does that mean he has a quest for me? Meet and greet. Okay. Oh, right. You should get to know some of the people living in this town for your own benefit. I made a list of store owners within the city walls. Uh, you should go introduce yourself. <laughs> I love this guy's voice actor. He's really funny. <laughs> That's cool. But they, I, they, one thing they need to fix definitely is the localization of the language. Because this is a Chinese developer that made this game. But um, as you can see, for, if you're reading the subtitles as I am as they talk, it's a little bit messed up in some areas. All right. Who, what's up, Albert? Oh, welcome. I don't know what it looks like. If you're like. in need of house or workshop upgrades, this is the place to be. All you need to do is select a plan from the catalog book in our company. Okay. Well, that was easy. <laughs> I got relationship plus 10 for walking in and saying hello. I can dig it. I can appreciate that. I guess we can go meet Presley real quick. Who knows what he's going to give us next. And then we'll finish the other side quest. 30 XP and something else. I don't know what else it was. You're now a bona fide workshop. He looks owner. awesome. I love his mustache. Oh, would have been so proud. Oh, well, thank you. Let me explain some of the processes for our trade. Here at the Porsche office, we post workshop commissions every day on the board. Over Based on the okay. speed and quality of the results, we make a ranking of the workshops every week listed on the wall behind me. There are other workshops in Porsche? Oh, yes. Adding yours, there will be five workshops in our jurisdiction. That Besides sucks. the ranking list, you also have a workshop rating, which is listed on your license. The higher your rating, the higher quality the commissions you can I mean, get. that makes sense. But don't worry. If you have your father's work ethic, you'll be number one in no time. Oh, great. Once you're done with your course, <laughs> you can pick up the commission fee from Antoine if it's from the guild or the respective person who commissioned you. Builders make most of their money from doing commissions through the Commerce Guild. But some just build items and sell directly I mean, to the market. that makes sense. That's fairly Psst, lucrative that makes as sense. well. Trying to read and talk at the same time, guys. Anyway, since this is your first commission, I've kept one just for you. Oh, thank you. Playing favorites, are we? Higgins, you already took one today. There are never too many commissions. Good day. That's Runt. He's the owner of the current number one workshop. Oh, heck no. Businessman, but I don't like the way he does things. I'm coming well, for him. I'm sorry. I'm going to burn down his workshop. One today. Hey, Prez, I got a job for you. Or not. Oh, wow. Okay. What is it, Arlo? We're looking to build a bridge to Amber Island. So the mayor finally put up the money. Well, young here is up for the challenge. <laughs> that was awkward. So the mayor finally put Figured that place could be a real tourist attraction with the haunted cave and all. Hold on, I want to see if it, does it repeat the dialogue. The other guy started to repeat the dialogue for a second. Check your pa's workshop handbook to see if he has a bridge diagram in there. I remember he built a bunch. If it's there, use it at your assembly station. After you're done with the bridge pieces, you'll need to go to the designated spot and assemble the bridge. Okay. Also, and this is important. For a project as big as a bridge, you need to dive into the abandoned ruins to gather materials. We have one such ruin in Portia. It's located at the bottom of the temple tower. That's scary. I don't think I'm ready for that yet. What is this? I thought you said there wasn't commissions. And he left. Two basic... Seven days to do that. Okay. Limit three days. Oh, six glasses shouldn't be too hard, right? Oh, I should have collected that one then. Darn. I don't know. I had a limit on my commissions. That's... <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go meet this other town owner first. Because that's our first little side quest we got to do. And it's right here, so... Where are they at? Oh, the thing down there is kind of weird looking sometimes. The the mini map? It's not Emily. Who is it? Oh. 
Oh, no. No. Oh, a new building. I like this guy. It's always nice to see young folks moving in. If you need refreshments, I'm your man. Try this. It's on me to start. Aw. Heck yeah, that dude's awesome. Dang, okay, so there's more shop owners apparently. I thought I was done. I'm not. Oh, there's like a whole other section of this place. Whoa. There's quite a few shops over here apparently. That's not a shop. I thought you need to meet someone in. This is though. Was that me meeting him? Oh, I gotta go inside and talk to him. Welcome, smallish builder. Smallish. I sell furniture here in my store. So if you ever have any need for manly decors, you know where to find me. <laughs> and since I'm so of manly, course. I'm going to give you this to get you started. Of course he's gonna talk like that. Since I'm so manly. Hey, Carol. Nice to have oh. you. If you need tools or weapons, you can come to my shop. It's got the best selection around these parts. Cool. Now, you look like a nice kid, so I'm going to give you these for free as a leg up. Nice. Don't tell my They're all giving me out things. Ooh, stone bricks. Okay. Welcome to our little town. Hope you have a wonderful time. I like your voice. My store sells clothing and costumes, so if you ever need to upgrade your armor or suit for a date, come see me. Dates. So it isn't like Stardew Valley and stuff like that. So I'm going to give you something for don't tell my husband that's though. so funny they're like opposites of each other that's hilarious all right so there's another shop owner up here that i missed out on apparently the dash is pretty fast i can appreciate it i have a lot of stamina i'm assuming that my stamina will build up eventually more than it is right now but the clinic that's not a store what are you talking about you can tell me the clinic is a store come on I like that there's not much loading. Like, the loading's relatively quick. Did it have a thing above her head? No, it was Dr. Zoo. Hey, welcome to Portia. I'm pretty much the only doctor around Wait a minute. Here, so come see me when you need to heal up or buy health items. Here, have these as a welcome gift. That guy just said Portia. And they've all been saying Portia. Oh, no. Who, how do we pronounce this game's name? This is a problem. I don't know if I'm saying it right or not. Where's the map? Oh. Wow. That's far out there. That's the last one, though, I think. Dang. I need to build that whole bridge. Alright. So we're gonna go... We're gonna go to our spot. We gotta go meet this last person. Finish the side quest. Then we're gonna look at the basic skivers. Because those things aren't timed, it seems like. Whereas this build of bridge one... Or they are timed. The build of bridge one probably isn't timed though because it's a main quest I mean, I guess we'll end up finding out but man I'm lost I do not know where I am is this the way out yes it is okay <laughs> I know where I am again <laughs> you know it takes some time to get used to the place that you're in I bet that's the farm store so let's go through this it's not gonna take down my stamina to run through it is it I could fight the scarecrow start beating on it what does it mean 1.3 Wednesday down there? There's so many things I have to wonder about. Sophie's Ranch. Aww. This, the game has such a cute charm to it. Aww. Hello, nice to meet you. If you have any need for food items or seeds, this girl's so cute. Right on by I guess to say this lady. Let me give you something as a welcome gift. Aww, thank you. We did it. We completed it. We got a bunch of stuff from that, too. All right, let's go look at what we need for the two basic skivers. 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 I think it's skivers. I'm sure we don't. We need more than what we have, so we'll probably have to hustle around to get some more stuff. I wonder if I, it's when I level up that I can complete more high-level items. Or, like, what's going to allow me to do that? Oh, I got mail. What did I have mail from at this time? So, definitely stuff responds outside of my Oh, from City Hall. Hello, new builder. We'd like you to remind you that Porsche currently... That you, that Porsche currently have two authorized ruins for you to dive in. An abandoned ruin number one below the Church of Light and a hazardous ruin in the collapsed wasteland east of town. For your own safety, all of the ruins are currently off limits. Thank you, Porsche Town Hall. Interesting. So... I like that. Ooh, my stamina went up a lot. I can do a lot still today. 
I guess it doesn't have to be today, then. I could, I could just work as long as I want until my stamina goes out. Apparently. Right, if this is health items, I got a lot. I'm not gonna have to worry about health anytime soon. Alright, let's go see what I need for these. I know, I saw the basic skivers in here. Whoa. So I need all that stuff? Let's, let's, let's do this quick. Let's see what it wants me. It wants a marble plank. So when I look at the thing, I need two, I need a marble plank and two bronze pipes. I'm assuming I make those here, right? No. Okay. Marble plank and two bronze pipes. Can't make either of those things out of that. So that's not gonna work. We're gonna need to do something else first. Okay, with the stone furnace, we can make, so that lets you do small old parts. I guess we can just go ahead and try to make one of everything. So let's go with a grinder next. What do we need for a grinder? We need copper bars and old parts and a grinding stone. Okay, maybe we can't make a grinder. What can I make with this right now? I can make copper bars. I can only make one. Fuel depleted. Oh, I need to give it wood. Whoa. Okay, so this is going to get complicated. I can already tell. It's not, I only have one copper bar. The copper bar is going to take two hours to make? Holy crap. Okay, that's a long time. Wood and storage. I need to make me some storage and I need to go just collect a ton of wood. So it looks like stuff re... I'm just gonna cut down a crap ton of stuff and just try to get as much stacks of things as I can. And I think from what I can tell, so I can cut that down and it still gives me stuff? Yes, yes indeed I can. Um, I'm gonna stack a bunch of stuff from what I can tell I'm gonna use up all my stuff and hopefully, but it looks like that's, I can't tell if that's two hours real time or in game time. Either way, that's a long time. You're a new builder. I'm Gust. I'd love to stop and chat, tea, cake and all, but I'm busy, so good day. Wow, Mr. Fancy. All right, I mean, I think Mr. That looked like a girl's haircut. I mean, I know I shouldn't be assuming this guy's gender or anything, but come on. I can't really help myself. Jeez, I'm gonna have so much to collect. I don't know. I, I, I got to imagine there's a way to make it faster eventually. Like it's not always gonna take two hours. Like maybe when I get to a higher skill level or something, it'll let me do more. I don't know. I'm just gonna get a ton of wood. And then after I get all my wood, I'm gonna go ahead and get, um, a bunch of stone and copper and all that stuff from that kind of mining. I think, I feel like I'm gonna need plant fiber to make all of the clothing. Cause I, I saw that she gave me some, uh, my present that that lady gave me at that store was like a fiber thing. So I'm assuming that's something that she's gonna give me. It is kind of weird how it takes a minute for the ingredients to get to me. Like, even if I stop, <laughs> yeah, like, I don't have to be standing right there. I can walk away, but it still takes a while for them to come. All right, I'm just clearing out this whole area by my house, so I guess we'll find out if it makes my house ugly or not. Sorry, my camera turned off there for a minute. I'm sure I put that in the editing thing, but still, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my camera does it from time to time. I'm really assuming I can't cut this down. No, it would take way too much stamina. My stamina is already getting really low as it is. Yeah, I said need a better. Oh, I, I got a fruit from kicking the tree. Okay, so it does give me fruit. Dang, I'm gonna have to go far for all my wood from now on. I just want to get as much as I can. See what I, I'm assuming the stacks are at 99. The stacks like where it's gonna be like you have 99, then you have to stop. Hey, I got some extra stamina. I'm gonna wake up with 215. I think I started with like 120 something, didn't I? That's really nice. And then we'll see. And we're gonna be out of stamina. I think I can do one more small tree like this. Yep, perfect. All right, let's go to sleep. I should, I'm assuming I'll recover more stamina or something because I now, oh, that's so cool with this coal train above it. Um, because I fixed the house up. 
And I guess we'll find out. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, I have full stamina. Before I think I was only recovering half, and now I have full. So that's really nice. That's cool. It's raining outside. Ooh, I don't like that. Well, I know my copper bar is gonna be good. It took so freaking long though. Okay, so to make, I definitely don't want to make whatever I want. I have to make the skipper. Assemble with an assembly station. I just wish there was a way to know. Oh, that's how I could know. Parts. Oh, okay. So let's do this then. Let's go to my skipper. I need a marble plank and bronze pipe. So that I can go here, retrieve, go down to assemble or handbook, marble. Wow, this that goes down pretty wow, did you guys see that interesting oh that was thunder. I was like, what was that glitch? That was weird. So I found out I need a silver cutter. A civil cutter. That's what it's called. Which means that I need to go hit a ton of rocks. Like, a ton of rocks. So many rocks. I thought I need to spend all of my... I need 40 rocks, and then I need like 16 copper at least. Just for the civil cutter, and then I have to have enough to make the, what I need to make for the... Uh, the actual thing itself. The skiver. Thing is so much wood. So, no, there isn't a stack at 108. I'm assuming I can't hit this, right? No. Darn, where's that some rock at? There's the one rock in front of my house, but other than that, I guess I see some over there. But I can't cross that bridge. I don't think I can go in the water. I mean, I'm assuming I can't because he, that's why he wants me to build a bridge, right? Maybe he just wants me to build a bridge because everyone doesn't want to have to swim over, but either way. Oh, wait, I was going to look. So it doesn't look like trees are respawning that much. There's just a lot of stuff around, though. Wood and stone. Another mail? From Polly? Hey, new builder, I have, man I have a manly commission for you to get you settled in. You feeling it? I need three copper blades for some of my furniture. I expect macho quality, okay? <laughs> You'll need a grinder to make them if you don't have one already. Wow. Okay. So I have another commission. Well, I know I need a grinder, but the problem is I can't even find- Aha! Stones! This is a small stone, though. It's not gonna be enough. I need, like, what? Hey! Why can't I hit the stone? That was really weird. So there definitely- because they're early access, there's definitely some, uh, weird things- quirks, I guess you could call them as far as the stone collecting goes. Just the collecting in general, I think. But it is cool, I, I feel like there's gonna be a lot to explore. I have no idea if this is gonna be the entirety of the map or not. And because there's like the ruins and everything, I guess we'll see the actual size of it, but. And I, I'm, I'm gonna review this game, but I feel like it's gonna be kind of hard to review as an early access game, but we'll see. Let's grab this poop, might as well. Might need the poop for something. Oh, and I got wheat seed from the poop? Bamboo papaya seed. Huh. I'm sure I could come kill these animals. Like my sword. I don't see rock anywhere, guys. And does that mean I have to go into that, uh, into the cave with the rock, with my rock? I guess if that's what I gotta do, that's what I gotta do, but I wasn't expecting to have to do that. Let's see if I can go make a higher, is this what I can gather? No. I didn't want to start a game of roping. Ugh. What? Got him! <laughs> this is weird. Are you serious? And I can't move the rope around at all? No. Apparently I cannot. So I literally have to wait till it's like right there. The rope goes out so fast. What? What happened? I totally had that thing. That's dumb. 
These ones are hard. <laughs> Got them. So they need to be like a tiny bit before the middle of the field. I think is how it works. Do I get these guys? Or like, what's the point of this? I want a big cow. Okay. I mean, I got the horse right off the bat, so... I guess that's good. Oh! Oh, yeah, cool! So I did get meat. Interesting. I got milk and fur and fiber. Cool. Okay. And it only took five stamina for me to do that, so that seems like something that could be very sustainable. Dang, there are, like, a lot of items and stuff. What is... What does that mean? Is it telling me to check my inventory? It was telling me to check my inventory. my character. I guess I could look. I have three skill points. Endurance. Endurance decrease when dodge rolling. Experience gain increased by 5%. Maximum health. Maximum stamina. Increased chance to receive one additional relationship point. Whoa. Chance to receive one to two additional relationship points after gifting. So something I've always known in RPGs is like it seems great to increase your um, your experience ones, but usually what happens is you can't, you don't, you're not able to get every single skill. And so if you increase your experience, you're wasting that because once you have max level, these skills are useless. So I don't usually go for those. But these are both damage ones. It looks like. What are the, so what is this then? Stamina cost decrease when using axe. Oh. Maximum endurance. Ooh. I like this. That might be the best one. I feel like these two are going to be the best. Because I can... I Like, yeah, increasing my damage is great. But, like, if I can make it so I use less stamina... Huh... Ooh, that's hard. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait on the skill points for a little bit. I'm gonna wait till I have a bit more and then choose and see what happens when I do that. But I just want to see. So I can't pick up any of these flowers. No, I can't. Can I build something bigger at this workstation? No, I need animal bones. So I need to make this. Need to equip it. Whoa, wrong button. Wrong button! Oh, my inventory is full. That is not good. Let's move this here. Actually, let's move this. Dang it. Here. This. Here. I guess I did have the gloves, too. But we need to make one of those wooden storage things real quick. Isn't it in here? There it is. Whoa, I don't want to make five, though. I guess I could make two. Is there a way to color them? Why is that one red? Oh, crap. Ooh, jeez. That's not good. I just made that stuff. Let's drop this. How do I... Can I drop it out of my inventory? <laughs> can't use it, apparently. It's not a drop button? Huh. Can I, like, drop it to the trash? Oh, abandon. Aha. Cool, now I got my wooden storage. Alright. Go in here and put our storage down. I have no idea where to put it or how to do it, but I guess we'll find out, won't we? Where's our wooden storage at? Okay. We'll replace the poop there. So we can put one in the corner. I want to get it in, as in the corner as possible. Customize. Okay. Ah. Confirm. Cool, now it's bright blue. So what do we want to put in the bright blue one? The poop? This fast exchange means that if I just press it, it'll just go over there? Yes, it does. Cool, okay. 
We'll put all of our foodie items over there. I don't know if we'll need them or not, but... Got a lot. All the rest of these are looks like they're customization ones, so... Ooh. There we go. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Everything is put away. All right. Let's go, let's go get a monster, or a, not a monster. I guess we're not attacking monsters. Let's go get an enemy or something quick. I'll attack one of those creepy looking things over here. Looks cool with my little sword on my back. I'm down. One of those things. I have no idea if I'm actually supposed to do that or not, but we'll see. Oh, that frame rate drop. Meh, meh, meh. Oh, I did get animal bones. Ooh, okay. Are there more gonna get mad at me? No? Okay, I'm good. Meh, meh, meh. I think it's trying to attack me and I was somehow managing to dodge them well. <laughs> I love this fighting music though. Come here, Fisty level three. You're gonna take it. So that must be a critical hit when the thing gets really big like that. I think it must be a critical, th critical hit. I'm sure I could probably make myself some better armor and gear out of this too. Oh, this is cool. I like this game a lot so far, guys. I think my one hour is almost up, but I want to get five animal balloons. It's so funny that it's a llama. Like, what the heck? <laughs> the noise they make, uh, the fact that it makes a noise every time I hit it is so funny. Alright! Well, we now have our five animal bones. Let's go see if we can make an enhanced sword. Let's get this one on our way back. I think I'm gaining some XP from doing this. I don't know for sure, though. It's like I'm canceling its attack because I'm hitting it fast enough. Interesting. So I wonder if those llamas are going to respawn or if that's it. That's just all I'm going to get from the llamas. I mean, that's a possibility for sure, but I guess I'll find out. I make the hand sword now, right? Oh, I put my tree sap. Oh, so I don't. Oh, I only got two animal bones? Oh, that's a bummer. I wonder what bronze. Oh, so yeah, this will just make it. Wow, I need an upgrade kit? Jeez. There is so much stuff to get still. I mean, I should be able to make fiber cloth pretty easily, right? Can't get in here though. I'm gonna have to make all those different things, aren't I? I am. Man, that's crazy. How am I supposed to know when it's nighttime? Like, how do I even know? I also don't know how to know how to save, if there, or if there's even a way to save at all. Does it just automatically autosave at all times? Well, all right, I guess it does. I think this has been about an hour. If it's a bit shorter, I'm sorry. If it's a bit longer, I'm sorry. I know it's gonna be a time bit more than an hour because of character creation, but we shall see. It might be a little bit under an hour and then I'll feel bad because it won't be an hour and I'll be lying in the title, but whatever. This game is awesome. I'm gonna be doing a lot more. I'm gonna be streaming it. I'm gonna be playing it. I'm gonna be reviewing it. So I hope you guys enjoy it and let me know if you've been playing this game, any tips or tricks you guys have. And if not, we'll just figure it out together. Anyway, guys, if you're new to the channel and you want to see more videos like this and a bunch of other types of videos, make sure to smash that subscribe button for new videos every single day. And don't forget to give that like button some love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's continue to create the greatest gaming community in the world.